Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. Today we're taking a look at one of the great Atlanta finishes. What do they call them? Fantastic Atlanta finishes, I guess? I don't know. That's what they called them for a while. Haven't had them in a while because this is the last one of the fantastic finishes, which was 2011. So you can do the math there and tell me what you think. But uh, what we're looking at today is the great finish or the duel between Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson, where Jeff Gordon... Uh, sealed up the win at Atlanta. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I don't have a box. I don't have anything. It actually came. It was his 85th career win. It came in its own unique book set and everything had all that. Uh, I got this as a part of a big Jeff Gordon collection. None of them had boxes. They all had been customized. You can see the windshields all dirtied up, uh, which is kind of a customized thing. So it had some custom things, but also uh, was missing boxes. So, you know, got a good deal on it. So I'm pretty happy there. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I am missing some of that stuff. So Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So down on the left side, you can see the first thing here. We do have the yellow splitter down here below. You can see there's a lot of dirt up here. Very dirty car. You can see all the dirt along the front end of the car here. You see some grill openings here. You can see the Chevy Impala logo. You see the custom part here that I was talking about. These are all individual pieces of tape. Uh, these are what they use to tape down the hood pins. So you can see there's four little pieces of tape across the hood there, uh, which is, yeah, as I said, just for that uh, for the hood pin stuff. Uh, underneath here, you can see there is our um, our engine detail. You got drive to end hunger. Um, you see the silver valve covers, red engine block, coolant line. I don't think there's anything customized in there. Um, not that I can see. Maybe the coolant cap isn't red, but I could be wrong there. Or not coolant cap. Sorry, that would be the the fuel lines. Um, so I don't know if those are that or not the fuel lines, but the little uh, injector maybe. I don't know what they call that little red piece up there. Uh, again, that'd be the only thing, but otherwise it looks pretty good. You see the windshield's got some dirt all over it. You see the big tall windshield banner. That's actually not customized. That's been like that. On the roof, you see number 24. Roof flaps do deploy as well um, right there. You can also see there, there's no din in the back. That's all painted black as it was closer to what you know the car on track looked like. Um, you can see down the side though we do have the number 24 um the arrow for the jack is clearly not where it's supposed to be um but that's okay um we got aarp drive to end hunger uh dupont you can see a little bit around the wheel well on the left rear that's probably from uh doing the burnout or something close to that uh we got the ethanol ring pepsi max dupont you go to the back we got text to text hunger to 50555 uh, number 24 and Chevy with that nice metallic red. You see a little bit of confetti on the rear window and on the deck lid as well uh, with the drive to end hunger. Um, now, I did actually recently have to repair this spoiler, so I'm not going to go ahead and pop the trunk. We all know what's in there, though. It is the fuel cell. Um, so we got the regular tubing and stuff there. Nothing super crazy. Uh, we go over here. We got drive to end hunger, DuPont, and Pepsi Max. Here's where we do have a little bit. You can see the, um, the donut mark on the right rear or I guess right side door. Uh, unfortunately, it's very pixelated. You'll see that probably right off the bat. A lot of pixel in that. So, um, you know, just is what it is. That's how they made them at the time. But yeah, very pixelated donut. Number 24 again. Uh, a lot of dirt. A little bit of pink down there along the skirt too, which is kind of something. Uh, a little bit around the right front as well. Just kind of up and around here. But overall, it looks very, very nice. Get back to the nose here, and you can see we got our, our dirt all across the base there. Uh, not quite on the splitter. The splitter's got some dirt for sure, but right above the splitter, you can see a real big chunk of that uh, dirt kind of all over the place. Um, overall, the finish of this race was really, really great. Um, you know, the detail on it, there wasn't any, uh, you know, big time race markings or anything. As I said, you do get a donut mark on the one side, but overall it was a pretty clean race. Um, but I think the biggest kicker of this one that, um, you know, uh, to this day has to make me laugh a little bit is, you know, it was uh, the COT or the Gen 5 car. Uh, that put on a great race with high horsepower and it didn't even take a green white checker or a crazy manipulated finish they were able to run i believe they ran like 50 laps to the end or something crazy number like that and gordon pulled away and then johnson caught back up after a cycle of green flag pit stops and they battled for about the last 11 laps and gave us this this finish so uh something we will never see today because um you would never have pit strategy playing into a you know, final stage of a race because everybody knows when someone's going to pit uh, because everybody's kind of in a box. So, you know, Chad Canal said that when stage racing started, they were going to get put in a box and Jimmy Johnson won three races in 2017 on strategy and never after that. So, um, you know, some of that's driver, but some of that is strategy too. So, 
Um, but overall, um, this is definitely a cool win. Definitely a good one to add to the Jeff Gordon group. Or not add, but has the, a good member of that group. Um, there's just too many cool race wins from, from this Gen 5 era with the, you know, 09 Texas cars, pretty cool. The two Pocono cars are cool. Uh, the Homestead car is pretty sweet. So there's a lot of really cool Gordon wins in there. But um, this one, just the finish of it was fantastic. So uh, what can I say? Long live the Gen 5. But uh, anyway, that'll wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, also, stay tuned later today for a Gen 5 race, which is, quote, unquote, the Xfinity series, just so you know. That's that's where that car came from. So yes, the Gen Fives or the, the Xfinity race will be later today. Should be a lot of fun. Cars should be slipping and sliding and wheeling them all over the track. And then uh, we got the Cup race tomorrow. So uh, anyway, that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast review.